What's going on everyone, my name's Cypher, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the best one-way setups for every map in Valorant. This video has every one-way that I actually use in my ranked games, and a lot of them you probably haven't seen before. If you're looking for a certain map, there's timestamps below. I definitely recommend skipping around this video because there's a lot of stuff to learn. But before we get into it, I want to take a moment to thank this video's sponsor, Frame drop. Stop wasting your time searching your videos and streams for the best moments and highlights. Go viral faster with Frame Drop. Frame Drop is a free tool that uses AI to turn your gaming highlights, live streams, or podcasts into viral clips. All that you have to do is enter the URL and Frame Drop will automatically detect the best moments. Once you find a clip that you like, you can edit the length, layout of your clip, and even more. My personal favorite feature is the subtitles. With one click, Frame Drop will automatically add subtitles to your video, which is great because we all know how long it takes to do it manually. You can even edit them to make them exactly how you want. Once you finish editing, you can download your clip or share it to any of your social medias directly through FrameDrop. Again, FrameDrop is a completely free tool and you can get started using it by clicking the link in the description. Now let's get back to the one ways. All right guys, so the first map that we're gonna do is Bind because I think it's overall the best one way map. Going on through your first trip across long like this and then jump up into the hookah window Toss your cam on this wall this goes and your second trip off of this pillow here. Yes. Now get into this corner and look up anywhere on the straight dark line here. Toss a cage. Once the round starts and you see some people in hookah, you can pop this cage and swing out, crouch, and spray everyone down. Here's the enemy POV. They're not able to see you at all. Moving on to A, this site has a lot of good one ways. For the first setup, we're going to jump through our cam on this light here, then come into this corner. Look at the edge of this thing and toss a cage. Put your first trip at head height here and your second one across shower doors. Off of this setup, you can play in this area and kind of sit on your cam. Once you hear or see some enemies at A, toss your second cage here and then just jiggle these boxes like this. And when you see an enemy standing on top of them, you can pop this one way, swing out, and have a completely free kill. This is the enemy POV with this. They can't see you at all, but you can see almost their entire body. If someone hits your bath trip, you can pop this cage and spray them down. And if they hit this trip, you can just wall bang them through these boxes like this. The second setup is a lamps one way. For this one, you're gonna jump through your cam on this wall here, throw your first trip next to truck like this, and then come into lamps and throw your second trip here. To do the one way, walk into this corner and put this part of your HUD at the bottom of these towels. So just like this, and then you can toss your cage and it'll land here. With this setup, we're mainly gonna play off of this trip. And if someone comes in and they hit it, we can pop our one way and we'll have a free pick off that. We have our camera to watch sight and also make sure no one's coming up behind us. If you see that someone's about to hit this trip, you can walk over and then just cage this, swing out and pick them off wherever they are on it. Starting off on A side of Ascent, for the first setup, we're gonna jump on dice here and put our cam on this wall. Now come over to main, put your first trip tied along the wall like this, and now we're gonna throw our one way. To do it, stand in this corner, turn around, and put this part of your HUD just at the bottom of this dark part here and then you can toss your cage. For the second trip, jump up here and put it along the ground like this, and off of this, we'll play over at dice. When you hear or see your enemy's name in, you can toss your second cage here, and then when they start coming in and they hit this first trip, you can pop cage the one-way, swing out and get some frags off of it, and for the second trip, once they hit it, you can pop this cage and then get some kills off that too, or you can use this cage to cross to gen, or go into hell. Setup number two is kind of a variation of the first one, but it just uses a different one way. So to do it, we'll use the same cam and main trip that we used before. And for the second trip, there's a lot of different things that you can do. I normally throw the one that I showed you before, or I put it along the ground, just like this. Now for the one way, we'll walk into the same corner, turn around, and put your crosshair just to the left of this line. So about here, this doesn't have to be perfect at all, and then you can toss your cage. Off the setup, we'll play a gen, toss our second cage here. Then when our enemies come in and they hit our main trip, we'll pop our one way and try to get some picks off of that. And we can use the second cage just how we did before. We can either use it to try to spur our enemies down when they hit the trip, or we can go to dice or hell with it. The final A1 way is best for any enemies who like to try to hit sight through tree. Now to do it, we're gonna put one trip across the door like this. And this trip is really tight, so it's impossible to break unless they wall bang it through the very edge here. To throw the one way, you're gonna stand under this thing Look about here and toss your cage. It'll land like this, and then you can play off of this one way in a bunch of spots. Dice is probably the best one though. When they hit the trip, cage you can pop the cage and have a free pick. Moving on to B site, there's a few good one ways here. My favorite setup to do is throwing one trip across mid and then come into this corner, find this thing here and go up from it until you hit this cloud. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then you can toss the cage, put your cam high on this wall and your second trip along the ground, just like this. 
Now off of this setup, we can play over at CT, and when our enemies come out and they hit the strip, you can pop the cage and kill them whether they're at switch, or on lane, or even behind this wall, you can wall bang them. You can throw another one way from the same corner by crouching in it, looking at this chimney, and tossing your cage. This one way doesn't need a trip for it to work, but if you want to do one, you can throw it off of this second piece of wood, and then you can play at stairs or CT. Cage triggered. The final one way that I want to show you is in B main, and this one took me a really long time to find, but it was definitely worth it because the one way is really strong. So this one you're going to throw for a teammate, and here's how you do it. You're going to find the edge of this boat thing and go over until you hit the first light square here. So this one. It's easier to tell on lower graphic settings, so like these two are dark, and then there's this first light one. So you're going to find this square, and then go to the top left of it and stand directly over it, so about here. And then look up at this part of the wire and just toss your cage. This is really consistent and it'll land on here, which puts anyone who peeks this angle in a one way. So get your duo or somebody on your team to hold this angle. Then you're just gonna sit back and look at your map. And when your teammate sees an enemy in this area, you can just pop the one way for them and they'll have some free kills. You can also throw this for yourself, but it's kind of inconsistent. But if you do want to do it, you can just stand against the barrier here. Find this brick here, which is like split in half. That's how you can identify it. Then put this part of your HUD right at the bottom of that brick. So about here and toss the cage. This will land for you like 80% of the time, but it does miss sometimes. All right, so moving on to Lotus, this first one that I have to show you, I found from Spawns and it's really good. If you wanna see more Cypher content, definitely check out Spawns, his link's in the description. But here's the setup. So for your first trip, just throw it across B main like this, toss your second trip here, and then stand in this corner, turn around, and put this part of your HUD right here. So just like this, then you can toss it and it's gonna land on this angle. Now throw your cam on this wall and play back on bend. With this, you're gonna wanna look up at your cage and then hop on your cam. And when you see an enemy here, you can just pop the cage, swing out, they'll be in a complete one way and you can get a free pick off of this. And then once your one way is used up, you can play a bit deeper and bend. And when your enemies come in and they hit your trip, you can either wall bang them through here or you can use your second cage like this and swing out and get some picks. For setup number two, you're gonna wanna use the same B trip. And now come over to C, jump through a cam on this wall, put your second trip across C main, and now you can just eyeball your two cages. So for the first one, throw it off of this wall and it's gonna land on this angle for you. And for the second one, you're just gonna do the same thing. You can also play off of this setup at bend and just sit on your cam. When your enemies start getting close to your trips or when they hit it, you can just pop your two cages. They'll be in a complete one way and you can kill anyone in this area. And as you can see, even if your enemies are all the way against the wall and crouching, they're not gonna be able to see you here. Moving on to the A setups, we're gonna throw our first trip at B and then we're gonna jump through our cam high on this wall and tree. And for your second trip in the one way, there's a few different things that you can do here. The first one, and probably my favorite, is just throwing the trip like this, and then walking into this corner here, turning around and looking at the dark part of this tree here. The thing you're supposed to look at shows up a bit better on lower graphic settings. So as you can see, it's just like this little black piece here. So just look at that and toss your cage. With this setup, I usually play in backside and just play pretty passive until they hit my trip. If the enemy's open tree door, you can always hit your cam and see if anyone actually went in or not. And then once they hit the trip, you can just pop your one way and you'll have a free frag. They're not going to be able to see you at all with this one way. This is the enemy POV. If you want to do a fully A committed setup, you can do the same trip in one way that I showed you before and just throw a simple trip across a tree like this. Or you can throw your second trip over here and do something like this. Sometimes I replace this trip for one along the ground here or one like this. And if they hit either of these, you can just pop your one way and get a pick off of it. Moving on to split, this first setup is pretty well known, but I want to include it in here because it's essential for every Cypher player to know. To do this one, we're going to throw our first trip across heaven like this, and then come over to rafters and jump through your cam high on this wall. For your second trip, throw it right here at head height, and now we're going to throw a one way for main. To do this one, you can walk into this side of the door, look up at this light beam, and go over until you hit this other beam and toss your cage. You can throw your second cage here and hop on your cam. Now playing off of the setup is really simple. You're just gonna sit on your cam and wait for an enemy to start coming out of main. And once they're under your one way, you can pop it and spray anyone in this area down. This trip is here to stop any duelists that come out onto site quickly. Like for example, if a jet dashes out, they're gonna hit this strip. Then you can just pop your cage and spray them down. And you can also use this cage to cross over onto the other side of site. This isn't a full setup, but you can also do a one way for heaven and it's really easy. All that you have to do is stand in the corner and find this line and this line then go into the edge of this and go into the middle of those two lines and toss a cage this will land up here and then you can just detonate it get on the rope and have a one way for anyone who's in heaven moving on to the a setups for the first one you're going to stand in this corner and jump through your cam high on this wall put your first trip across main and your second one where the green and white part of this wall meet for the one way lineup find this line on the wall and then walk into it 
and then you're gonna look up at this rectangle shape and put your crosshair on the bottom right corner of it. Once the wall drops, you can toss your cage and then fall back to this angle. When you see someone at your one way on the cam, you can just pop it, try to get a pick off of that, and once the one way's gone, fall back to this angle. You can throw a second cage here and use it to spray anyone down who hits the strip. All right, so this first setup for sunset, you've probably seen before, but may not know how to do it. And it's arguably overpowered. So what you're gonna wanna do is have one info trip and mark it and your second one tied across main like this. To throw the one way, you can jump on this box crouch look at the bottom of this line here and toss a cage now there's a few cams that you can throw with this i usually put it in this window or on the palm tree the window cam will get you market and site info but it gets broken a lot the tree cam rarely gets broken though so i usually throw that to play off of this you can sit in this corner or back site over here and when your enemies come in and they hit the first trip you can pop the cage swing out and have some free picks with this one way you can't swing from this side um, but if you do want to there's another lineup you can do you're gonna jump on the same box stand and you'll see this like rectangle shape here. Just look in the middle of it and toss a cage. And with this, you can play on this side of the pillar and when I hit the trip, again, pop it, swing out and get your picks. You can also do a setup with a one way for this trip. To do it, just walk into this line on the wall, then look here and toss your cage. Off of it, you'll want to play and mark it. When they hit the trip, you can just pop your cage and get a pick off of it. For the second trip, you can either do this main one or something like this or over here, it's really a lot of stuff you can do. For A site, you can put a cam high on this wall like this. For the trips here, you can really do whatever you want because the one way doesn't require you to play off of them. Usually I'll do something pretty standard, so maybe like this and then my other one in elbow. For the one way, you can stand here pre-round and find this triangle on the wall put this part of your HUD right over it. This doesn't have to be perfect at all. Then when the wall drops, you can toss a cage and it'll land on this flower pot. With this, you can stand in this area and be on your cam. This cam will see anyone who peeks around the one way. So once you see someone, you can just pop your cage and try to get a pick off of it. Then after that, you can either fall back to Gen or over to A-Link. When you're playing here though, just be aware of any cypher cams or flashes that could come through. On Icebox, there's only one one-way setup that I like to use here, and I found it from a dinghy video, so credit to him. To do it, you can throw your first trip along the ground here, and for the second one, have it come off of the wall so it hugs this crate just like this. To throw the one-way, walk onto these barrels, turn around, and put your ult icon just under this gray bar here and toss a cage. And for the cam, you can jump on these boxes and throw it up on this wall. Playing off of this setup is really simple. You can just sit behind tower and when someone hits your first trip, swing out and get a pick off of it. Most of the time this will be smoked, but if your enemies haven't smoked it for whatever reason, you can just throw a second cage like this and safely swing out. It can also be good to replace a site trip for something in kitchen, just to make sure that you have that lurk info. All right, so the final map that we have is Breeze and there's a couple good one ways on this map, but they're both pretty situational. The first setup that I like to do is for any enemies who like to hit B through main and tunnel. Usually I put my first trip in hall for info, my second trip across B main, and I'll pair it with the cage, and then I jump on this wall and toss my cam up here. The one way for this setup is in tunnel, and to do it, you're gonna stand over this grate, then look up at the rim of this light, and toss your cage. When you see or hear an enemy in tunnel, you can just pop your cage and then get a pick off of it. The second one way is for mid doors, and when I do it, I usually toss this cam and put one trip across doors, and the actual one way is really easy to throw. You can just look here and toss your cage. When somebody hits your trip, you can just pop your cage, have them in a full one way, and get a pick off of it. And then for the second trip, you can really use any normal sight trip that you would use.